these drainage networks are draining watersheds, also known as drainage basins or catchments. And these catchments or drainage basins or watersheds are separated by drainage divides. Let's look at this diagram here. In this block, we have two watersheds. They're separated by this ridge that is the drainage divide. Stream A has its own catchment basin. Stream B has its own catchment basin. All of the precipitation that falls on this area is going to be split between the two watersheds along the drainage divide. The image on the left is the giant watershed for the Amazon River. It starts up here high in the Andes Mountains. All these tributaries flow down to the trunk stream, which is the Amazon, and the Amazon then flows down to the Atlantic Ocean. For North and Central America, we have some big watersheds. We'll start to the north. There's a watershed for the Arctic. There is a watershed that drains down to the Hudson Bay. To the west, there is the Continental Divide. Coming down the Rockies, the water here separates um, off the water that drains down to the Pacific. In the middle of that watershed is the Great Basin that is its own watershed. Water that flows into the Great Basin doesn't flow out. It has to evaporate. That's why we have um, salty basins within the Great Basin, like the Great Salt Lake. There's no outlet to the sea. It just evaporates the water. In the middle of the United States, there is the watershed for the Mississippi. It's delineated here with this dashed line. But all of this area in the lighter tan color drains down to the Gulf of Mexico. On the east coast, there is also a eastern continental divide over here that separates um, water from the Gulf and water from the Atlantic. It goes pretty much you know, starting in Georgia up the Appalachian mountain chain. In the northern part of that, there's kind of a separate watershed here that flows out the St. Lawrence Seaway. Sometimes you'll see that um, as a different color on one of these maps. This is the St. Lawrence Seaway. In North Carolina, we have a lot of different watersheds. Um, the New River and the Watauga and the French Broad, those all flow down to the Gulf. But then um, the Yadkin, the Catawba, the Broad, those flow down to the Atlantic Ocean. Here in Boone in Watauga County, then, we have the Watauga, the New River, the Catawba, wait, Watauga, Catawba, Yadkin, and the New River within a few miles of each other. Streams flow through their watersheds and are either going to be permanent streams or ephemeral streams. The permanent streams are those that are going to flow all year. So most streams on the east coast flow all year. The um, They're going to intersect the water table. So the groundwater flow is maintained in part by gaining water from the uh, underground, the aquifers. And they have sufficient rainfall and um, this should say humid to mature or climb sure climate. Yeah. The, um, and lower evaporation rates. Ephemeral streams are more what we have west of the Mississippi and these are going to dry up for part of the year. The channel sits above the water table within the unsaturated zone, so the stream is not gaining water from the aquifer below it. There is a lower rainfall amount and higher evaporation rates west of the Mississippi. These are found all over the world, but just using the United States as an example. So this is what a permanent stream would look like here on the left, really typical of... Um, a mountain stream with good water flow and then on the right and ephemeral stream they look like this they look like dry washes or roros 
and if it rains, that would fill up with water. There is an exchange then with a permanent stream between the groundwater and the surface water. It depends on if sometimes the stream can be a gaining stream and it gets water from the aquifer and sometimes it's a losing stream and the stream will be losing water to the groundwater. The stream is going to be have a faster velocity than the groundwater. The groundwater's the uh, water has to flow through all the pore spaces. That's going to depend on the gradient and the permeability of the aquifer.